In a race against time, the competition never sleeps. The clock never stops. And the green flag waits for no one. Just a few weeks from now, the world of endurance sports car racing will gather in Central Florida for the 55th annual Mobile One 12 Hours of Sebring, the premier event of the American Le Mans series. Sebring marks the start of a new racing season, a clean slate for car makers seeking to test the boundaries of performance technology. This year at Sebring, a new name will appear on the starting grid. Acura. Just 11 months ago, in a stunning announcement at the New York Auto Show, Acura unveiled a new prototype sports car slated to compete in the American Le Mans series. Acura is stepping into the upper echelons of the series, where the rules for prototype sports cars allow manufacturers to develop innovations in performance technology. Preparations for racing at this level of motorsports are usually measured in years, not months. But with just 11 months to go before Sebring, Acura and its HPD performance development arm needed to put their ambitious factory race effort into overdrive. To help accelerate the program, Acura chose an innovative strategy. Work not with a single race team, but with three separate teams. At Sebring, in just a few weeks' time, all three Acura teams will face off against the defending P2 class champion, the Porsche RS Spiders of Penske Racing. But first, the three Acura prototypes are facing off against each other in a simulation race of the actual 12 hours of Sebring. In full race mode, they'll each attempt to complete a 12-hour practice race. It's the last test before the Sebring debut, the final stage of preparation for a racing program that just 11 months ago existed only on paper. This is the story of Acura's Le Mans prototype sports car program, the race to the race. Jimmy, I was following you in practice, and it looks like you, you're kind of messing up turn three. And if I was you, I would try to make try to lock it out a little more. Hold on one second. I'm going to need it again. I'm so sorry. What were we saying? Good talk, Jimmy. Nextel helps NASCAR fans get things done with the new Motorola Buzz. One powerful phone, two powerful networks. Nextel, only from Sprint. We're here at my buddy Elliot Sadler's house. Got to get him ready for the all-star race on speed. Let's go. Come on, Bob. Turn off the light, though, before I go. It's going to be so exciting. Boy, it's like a freezer in here. Wake up, Elliot! All-star race is coming. Come on! Get up. It's going to be a big season. Come on. Here, you dropped your bunny. What Let's you? go, man. Y'all got a waffle maker? What in the world? A waffle maker? The NASCAR Next Del Cup All-Star Challenge. Coming this May, only on speed. NASCAR on speed. It's huge. 
I'm Lisa Gibbons. It's so exciting for me to talk to you about a new product called Sheer Cover. I know it's a makeup, but it is not like anything you've ever tried before. It can actually enhance and add value to your life. Imagine patchy, uneven skin, instantly smooth, under eye circles disappearing in seconds, freckles or spots gone, redness or rosacea, not anymore, even birthmarks or scars vanishing before your eyes. So now it's your turn to try Sheer Cover. Introducing Sheer Cover, the revolutionary mineral powder system guaranteed to give anyone perfect skin in an instant. Call now and we'll send you a one month supply of the incredible Sheer Cover. When you order in the next four minutes, we'll take $10 off the regular price so you can have the entire Sheer Cover kit for the incredible price of just $29.95. Call toll free now and get perfect skin in an instant with Sheer Cover. Yeah, it may look strange from the outside it, uh, to have three teams with a single car each you know but it a lot of thought went into the program in the early days of exactly how we were going to approach the series and how could we best uh, develop as a company and understand this style of racing you know Honda has a, a very rich culture in racing uh, particularly open wheel racing but in this kind of sports car uh, endurance racing, we have very limited knowledge. We know that we're on a major learning curve. And in order to accelerate our learning, we chose to take the approach that we have. We've got three teams and three cars. Looking first at the Fernandez team, they're using a Lola chassis. The Lola chassis has been in competition for over a year now. It's proven to be reliable. It's proven to be very competitive. So we selected that combination as uh, the basis of our engine development. Here we can easily compare apples to apples. There's other Lolas out there in the field, and we can clearly see how our engine is performing against those cars. Acura's race engine is a 3.4-liter aluminum alloy V8. The first completely designed and developed in-house by Acura's race partner, HPD. Well, with, with the three teams that we have, um, we, we can actually use them to work together and in parallel for engine development. Um, we have one car that is solely focused on engine development, and that car's purpose is to take that new information and, and to look at it and to run it on track first, knowing that there is potentially a higher level of risk. Everything that we find that works, we would then distribute across to the other two cars. Uniquely with this project, we're going beyond just the engine development, which has been kind of our territory in the past, and expanding that into the chassis, the drivetrain, and the entire chassis itself. To work on that side of the program, we've set ourselves up in this relationship with Highcroft Racing. Well, we had heard that Acura was going to be entering the ALMS after the announcement they made at the New York Auto Show. So Danny Sullivan, who's an old friend of mine, and I decided to go out to California and make a pitch. But we were really, I think, the opportunity for them to kind of help mold us and develop us in and grow with us and, and show us how to grow. Highcroft being young and flexible is welcoming our thoughts and our ideas and allow us to experiment in the chassis side of the picture. And then you've got Andretti Green Racing, a team that we have years of experience with. We as a team are in a racing business and we're, we're specifically an IndyCar team. that We wanted to branch out into other types of racing, so we were starting the search. And then Acura came to us and said that they wanted to get into the ALMS program. We thought, well, that's perfect. Well, certainly with Acura announcing their program only 11 months ago uh, before the first race, uh, it's a huge challenge to take on. We had a, had a great group of drivers uh, involved in the IndyCar side. It was just a natural fit. Basically, they are the team that will get kind of the the benefits of both of the other programs. From an engine point of view, they'll get the latest developments from the Fernandez program. On the chassis side, they'll get the latest developments from the Highcroft Courage program. The 
Acura-powered prototype sports cars will compete in the LMP2 category of the American Le Mans series. The so-called P2 cars are two-seat open cockpit racing machines with over 500 horsepower and top speeds approaching 200 miles per hour. This is the Highcroft Racing 2007 Acura Courage LC75 race car. In the driver cockpit, there's quite a lot of different controls that we have. Here, you have the driver steering wheel, lots of different controls to take you through it. A drinks bottle to help us uh, keep hydrated during the race. Push to talk, which is the radio for communications to the car in the pit. Overtake button, that's when everybody likes to push. Flashing for the headlights so that we can let the cars that we're overtaking know that we're coming. On the back side, we have the paddle shift. Right side is for going up through the gears, left side is going down through the gears, so the driver never has to take his hands off the wheel. Just a few milliseconds to actually go up and down through the gears. See the very sculpted aerodynamic shape of the car. The most prominent feature perhaps is the louvers on the, on the wheel arches. This is designed to help suck the air out of the wheel arches and create downforce. So the C-ring can get very dark at, at night. Um, very high powered lights during the day will run one uh, set of lights and at night will run both sets. You'll see additional winglets and gurney flaps and flip ups and various other things to help create downforce on the rear. The less drag you have, the more quickly you'll go in a straight line, but the more downforce you have, the quicker you can go through the corners. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Does not. Are you going to get this? Yes, it's awesome. You're going to stand there and tell me that Dale Jr. runs better at Bristol than he does at the restriction play tracks? Well, he does. That's Actually, Roger, she's correct. As you can see here, my average finish at Bristol is higher than either one of those tracks. 500 laps on Sunday isn't enough Bristol for Junior. That's why he's running the Sharpie Mini 300 Bush Race on Saturday. Bristol Motor Speedway, racing the way it ought to be. I'm just saying. We advance in leaps and bounds. We advance in the blink of an eye. of a button. From generation to generation, at Acura, we help people advance. From where they are to where they could be. Advancing performance. Advancing technology. Advancing design. Advancing life. Acura. Advance. I'm thinking of a number. Do you know what it is? It's 20 million. That's how many people have already checked their free Experian credit report at freecreditreport.com for some very good reasons. Now we can monitor all three of our national credit reports every day. It helps us save money and check for potential identity theft. I got my credit report and credit score online in seconds. Isn't it time to get your free credit report and score? Well, log on now to freecreditreport.com. Offer applies with the Rolling Triple Advantage. We've elected to go with drivers that have sports car experience, they have um, circuit experience at the locations where LMS races at. In many cases, they're drivers that we have a long experience with. You know, they know how to work with us, we know how to work with them, and what they like and what they don't like. In some cases, we have some new drivers that bring to us additional benefits. In the case of Andretti Green, you know, we've got Brian Herda who's moved from the IRL side of the Andretti Green Racing program to ALMS full-time. I think we all recognize the goals to make Acura as the fastest car on the track. They're here to win, and uh, so am I. And then you've got Dario Franchitti, again, a driver that we've had a lot of experience with. Dario will be on both the IRL and ALMS programs. Well, I'm still going to be doing the IndyCar stuff. Um, 
and in my off weekends, I'm going to be doing the, the ALMS program with Acura, so I'm going to be busy. <laughs> Brian is doing all the races, so I think you've got to look at this as, as, as probably Brian being the, the go-to guy. Driver lineup for Andretti Green has been a little bit of a, bit of a uh, political situation because each of the existing uh, Andretti Green racing IndyCar drivers all would like to race the American Le Mans series car. Two of the three drivers is Dario Franchitti and Brian Herder. The third driver we uh, are hoping might even be Danica Patrick. I think one of the things that I've been looking forward to with coming to AGR is the fact that I'm going to have guys that can teach me a lot and good teammates that I can really trust. Danica wants to do the race. Uh, I think it'd be certainly a great way to start the 2007 season just for her. In addition to its IRL stars, Andretti Green counts Marino Franchitti among its driver talent. I've been around the AGR family for nearly a decade with Dario working with and you know, Team Green before and now Andretti Green Racing. To, to drive with my brother was, was a big deal. Uh, that was a big part of, of, of doing this program. Yeah, for me, you know, he's my best friend and my brother. It's, it's a good situation. Certainly, when you ask references, his big brother saying, hey, I think my, guy's, my brother's better than I am. It's actually quite scary the first time to look at the data and how similar all the inputs were. Marino will be at the test. Uh, Marino will get track time in the test. We think he's very talented. I'm sure we can prove out that he's an ideal teammate to both Brian and Dario. Fernandez racing, we've got Adrian Fernandez, again, a driver we've had a long relationship with. It was just a great opportunity for, for us, for Fernandez racing, to get back and work together with, with Acura again. Luis Diaz, who's a driver that we've had a limited experience with, he drove us with us in kart back in 2002, uh, so we're glad to be back with him. In addition to Duncan Dayton, who's a driver and owner with a Highcroft team, we have Stefan Johansson, who came to us from Formula One and is a two-time winner here in Sebring. And we actually won the race, my first race here. I've spent, you know, 10 years in Formula One after that. We came back again in 97 and, and won again. And then we got David Brabham, who is a new relationship to us, but brings a wealth of sports car experience with him. Yeah, I suppose one of the reasons why I'm part of the program is because I've you know, been in sports car racing for a long time. They are asking me a lot of questions and I'm trying to help them out as much as I can. For David Brabham, the legacy of Sebring extends beyond his own racing career. You know, one thing you have to remember here, and I th think a lot of people in Amer America don't actually realize this, but you know, this race has been a big race for, for over 50 years. You know, so, you know, it is one of the, the truly historical events, not just in America, but globally. I've been racing here for over 10 years, so, I have quite a lot of history here, but I feel like I'm entering into a new chapter uh, with this Highcroft Acura program, uh, P2. I've never been in P2 before. So, you know, it's, it's a whole, whole new world in a sense, which makes it so much fun. It makes it so interesting to, to be able to have been here for so long, but feel so fresh about a new program. It's, it's pretty, pretty neat family history here, you know, with my father winning the world championship here. Um, and I can't forget also that my two brothers, Jeff and Gary, raced together here and, and won the race. It's now my turn. The first test involving all three teams takes place in late November at Homestead, Florida. With the Sebring debut 15 weeks away, Acura and HPD have a clear goal for this two-day closed test. Put a thousand miles on each car and establish a baseline of performance and reliability. We're looking forward to a lot of good driving over these next two days to get a lot of valuable input from those drivers. Our engineers can understand what they like and don't like about both the engine and the chassis.
There's a lot of work to do, a lot of development with a big program and a new program like this. to see the progress though because every time we go out everything's getting better the car gets better engine gets better i haven't been in one of these cars for two years so it took a while just to get the feel for everything again but it didn't take too long we had some little issues with the setup which we worked on all the way through the day towards the end of the day we got it running you know, not perfectly, but certainly um, we made a lot of progress. Homestead will provide a clear indication of precisely where the Acura program stands, not only with the engineering of the cars, but also with the chemistry of each team's driver lineup. Teams did significant more running in the afternoon than in the morning. Morning was mainly just getting settled and getting into the rhythm of things. So we plan to extend the running into the darkness. We need to test all our electrical systems, see if the drivers are comfortable with instrumentation and switches and headlight positions and things like that. For the Lowe's Fernandez team, Homestead is a gut check for its plan to run the entire 12 hours of Sebring with just two drivers. We already know close to 1,000 miles, and we're going to do another 200, something like that. And for Luis and myself to drive these many miles, we are trying to decide if we can do it, uh, the two of us. By the conclusion of day two, each team leaves Homestead with a body of knowledge about what is working and what isn't. Some small issues, nothing major. We had some gear shift linkage issues, we had some stuck throttle switch issues, we had some, uh, Andretti Green had some wiring issues related to the starter and things like that. The other three teams, the Fernandez team ran the Moses, which is not surprising, as we knew along that car, that entire program is further along than the other two garage programs. On the Highcroft team, which is the one who's least prepared at this point, I was very pleased that they got in some serious miles this afternoon. I think every team experienced some sort of small problem. That's why we test. So from that point of view, it's good. It's racing in its purest form. One man, two wheels, close to 150 horsepower. It's the Daytona 200 by Honda on Saturday, March 10th. The biggest, fastest, most prestigious race of the AMA season. The world's fastest riders at the world center of racing. For tickets, call 1-800-PIT-SHOP or visit racetickets.com. The Daytona 200 by Honda, Saturday, March 10th at Daytona International Speedway. It started with a simple idea. Build an automobile that takes the sheer joy of driving to a whole new level. Use advanced technologies without sacrificing fuel economy. Take advantage of a racing-inspired heritage. Provide an interior space that fulfills every need. The TSX from Acura. They say that in life, there's only room for one great passion. Unless you're really clever. Viagra. Viagra can help guys with all degrees of erectile dysfunction. Before taking Viagra, make sure you're healthy enough for sex. Don't take Viagra if you take nitrates for chest pain, as it may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Side effects may include headache, flushing, upset stomach, and abnormal vision. To avoid long-term injuries, stop taking Viagra and call your doctor right away if you experience a sudden decrease in vision or an erection lasting longer than four hours. Viagra is one of several ED treatments you and your doctor can consider. Now is the time to ask your doctor if Viagra is right for you. With the value card, every fourth prescription is free. Pressure. Enemy of engines. Enemy of 
pressure, Pennzoil Platinum Full Synthetic with adaptive molecules that continually join forces to help conquer pressure. Not just oil, Pennzoil. We're very lucky to have um, one of our key drivers in the program, Brian Herta, uh, lives here. It was very convenient for him to come over and meet with our engineers and discuss what he's experienced at the track. Right when I'm trying to get down in the third and second gear and I'm, I'm braking really hard, I'm close to locking the wheels. Sometimes if I'm close to lock up it, and I select a downshift, it won't give it to me. Our drivers are of a very high caliber and the, the feedback they give us is incredibly accurate. We know if the driver says, there is an engine hesitation here, I've got wheel spin here, I've got this throttle response here. But you can go through your data and you can find it. That's why I say we're, you know, 95%, it's not 100% yet, but, you know, hopefully the changes that you guys have been able to work on between the last test and this next one will get us that last 5% we need. With little more than 12 weeks left before the Sebring race, the three teams arrive in Florida to test on one of the world's toughest tracks. The legendary 3.7 mile, 17 turn Sebring circuit is the ideal proving ground for advanced technology. It's also a punishing test of physical endurance. Demanding both speed and stamina, the long, bumpy Sebring track is like no other race course in the world. This is the first time I've been on the full course at Sebring, and it's a, it's a fairly intimidating track with some really quick corners. This Sebring track it really it has many personalities, and there's parts of the track that have been repaved in the last four or five years that are very smooth and nice, uh, and then there's parts of the track that's very bumpy, and so it's, it, it makes it a challenge for us. Why we want to spend so much time at the Sebring track is it's so difficult to get a car that can handle all the different surfaces and conditions that this place throws at us every 3.7 miles. First corner and the last corner are very bumpy and it's such a wide open track as well it's very difficult to pick your line so I've, I've been really you know, getting used to that for the, the first sort of five or ten laps there. Brakes are terrible. Yeah. I mean, you, a couple of problems with the cars over the over the bumps this morning in, in turn one in particular. Just about to say to Brian, the brakes. When I was coming in there, I was doing what I do sometimes, just gently on the brakes. Yeah. There's just nothing. Yeah. Unless you're yeah. brakes hard, there yeah. is nothing. And then when you're on the brakes hard, you can't modulate. So we're we're going to go back there, try and figure out what's going on, and fix it. The whole rear end comes off the ground. So then. He's trying to help you, but the rear's not touching anything. We need to try and keep the rear on the ground. If you watched, I remember watching the race last year here with the Audis and stuff, and they were the only cars that had all four wheels on the deck. The concrete is actually older than I am, and so it's got, you know, all kinds of wear and weathering, and it makes it a challenge for us because you kind of have to compromise the car. If it's going to be really good in one area, it's not going to be as good in the other. Eicroft Racing soon experiences an issue with the chassis. This morning when we were running the suspension that's been revised for this test for the first time, we had a problem with the packaging on the exhaust going through the rear suspension, A-arms and drive shafts and whatnot. And it was an unusual shape, a little bit of an oval, and as, as the pulse from the exhaust came through, it, it caused some cracking. So we've, we've replaced the exhaust and 
gone back to the old style and made some modifications to it, so hopefully it'll be working fine this afternoon. Nothing looks more in there. Feel, put your finger right there. The Hirecroft team is doing the brunt of our chassis development, and they've come here with an all-new suspension system, a new exhaust system, and other components on the car. Unfortunately, we had some significant failures, which is why you test. So it's all good information, but it's resulted in a lot of downtime for the team. For Fernandez Racing, things appear to be going more smoothly. But at Sebring, nothing is ever smooth for very long. We were having some issues and we were checking the car and making sure that everything was fine. For some reason, this tire has got pickup. For some reason, it's just cooler and pickup. behind one of the other Lola P2s, I think. Coming into the corner, I was close to him. You know, it cut me out a little bit, and I lifted. <laughs> My car has been a little bit on the edge on the rear, and that basically was enough for me to spin. Uh, it's very bumpy, turn one. In that basically end of our day. I mean, I suppose it's a good experience for the race, so I don't have to do that again. $99 NASCAR tickets for Las Vegas Motor Speedway. March 9th through 11th, triple, tri 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 your fun with the next Cup Cup UAW Daimler Chrysler 400, Full Series Sandstown 300, and NASCAR Qualifying Day, all for just $99. New, higher banking means faster, tighter, more exciting than ever. NASCAR Racing, all for only $99. Ask about the fan-friendly Neon Garage when you call 800-644-4444. 800-644-4444 for the NASCAR tri tri Triple Play, Las Vegas Motor Speedway. For a day, super cross style. We'll be giving away speed swag every week and the chance for one lucky dude to win a trip to Vegas for the super cross finals. And with the Kawasaki factory dudes and take home your very own Kawasaki KX450F. Tune into super cross on speed for the weekly code word. Then enter to win at speedtv.com. The dude for a day, super cross style contest only on speed. Blockbuster Total Access, Netflix. Essentially, they work the same way. You order movies online, they come right to your mailbox, you watch them, then mail them back in a prepaid envelope. But, what if you're thinking, let's get a new movie right away. With Netflix, you mail them back and wait. But only Blockbuster gives you the option of bringing them back to the store and exchanging them. No extra charge. Here's your new movie, sir. So you never have to wait. That was fast. Movies through the mail, plus movies through the store, one low price. That's Blockbuster Total Access. Get your free trial at Blockbuster.com. Attention drivers stay. Like any good parent, I want the best for my baby. I want the best food, the best care, and the best future. That's why to help prepare for his future, I turn to Gerber, the baby people we've known and trusted since we were babies. With the Gerber Life Grow Up Plan, you can give your baby a $10,000 whole life insurance plan for just pennies a day. And when your child turns 21, that coverage will automatically double to $20,000 and the cost stays the same. By age 28, your child will have the right to purchase up to $100,000 worth of insurance, regardless of their health or occupation. If you have a child or grandchild, call Gerber Life today for your free information kit. Any healthy child 12 and under is eligible. Call now and your first month's premium could be as low as $1. Give your baby a head start on their future today with the Gerber Life Grow Up Plan. Call 1-800-974-8254. The information package is free. 1-800-974-8254. HPD is home to Acura's LMP race engine program. 
This is where nine engines are being assembled and tested for Sebring, three of them designated as spares. Very few people have ever seen the inner workings at HPD. Taking our cameras on a special tour into the machine shop is Roger Griffiths. Not too many people get to have a look in here, so why don't we take the opportunity to walk through and I'll show you what we have inside HPD. We're not really a production facility. What we do is we make prototype parts. So if you come with me, then we'll come and show you a little bit more of what we do once we've got a, a finished component and how we check that it's the right size to get before it goes into the racing engine. We're able here to look in great detail at how a component has performed, its material makeup, um, perhaps if anything has gone wrong, to try and analyze the, the fracture mode or the failure mode of the component. What we've got here is a broken component from an engine. What we're able to do here is analyze in much closer detail uh, the failure mode. And what we can do from that is to learn and then make a, a development component, which we can then go back into the testing cycle and uh, prove it out before we send it to the racetrack in a real race engine. So this is a quality assurance department here at HPD. This is where all the components come in from outside vendors, from being made in our own machine shop. And this is where we check to make sure that they're dimensionally correct and accurate to drawing. And this is what we're really looking for going into the Sebring 12 hour race. Okay, here we are in uh, the test cell area at Honda Performance Development. And we're pretty nervous here with the speed guys being here with the cameras. We don't normally allow visitors, let alone people with cameras in here. So what we're going to do now is going to take an engine through its paces round a lap of Sebring. So you'll get a quick chance to see how this engine performs on the test cell before it goes out to the racetrack. Okay, so we have the engine running here on the dyno and we're just about to start a lap of Sebring. Now you can hear the engines going up to 5,000 RPM as it just in preparation for the start of the circuit simulation. So you can hear the engine speed building and the car's gonna start going up through the gears now. This is a simulation of Sebring and this is what the engine goes through and this is just, just the part of the lap you can hear the engine running up through. Through the hard right on turn 13 and now down the Flying Fortress straight, approaching Bishop Bend, through Bishop, down into turn 15, and then braking hard, bringing the engine down as we approach turn 16 here, Le Mans curve. And now you'll hear the driver, the dyno come on the throttle as we come all the way down the back straight, all the way up through the gears into top gear, sixth gear, and you hear the engine just sit there as it comes down the, uh, down the back straight into the final turn, turn 17, probably the bumpiest turn on the racetrack, accelerating out through turn 17 and back down the start finish straight for the completion of another lap of Sebring. So this is a true representation of what is happening out there on the track. It's going to be an extremely large challenge this year going head to head with Porsche. I don't believe there's any manufacturer in the world that has more experience in endurance racing than Porsche. You have Acura coming in who has virtually none. The fact that the Porsches have years of experience in endurance racing doesn't mean they won't view the new Acura team as a threat. At the Sebring test, Porsche held a press conference where team managers and drivers analyzed the Acura challenge. They have a tremendous racing infrastructure here in the States. I'm sure it's a, a division of their current IRL program, which everybody I know is, is familiar with their success rate. I'm sure they have links to their Formula One program with the parent company, Honda. I know that under Robert Clark, they're, they're a very dynamic, aggressive group with the backing of the factory. So they will be a very formidable competitor in the teams that they've chosen. When they announced the program, lots of good drivers were available on the market, and I think they choose the best. Everybody involved there has a lot of experience. We definitely will not make the mistake to underestimate them. We started with one team and concentrated on one team. They're starting on three teams. It's a different approach, and the uh, future will prove what is the best. 
have a feel that we're going to have a lot of fun with the Porsche boys. I think we're going to have great races. There's going to be a tremendous uh, fight between uh, Porsche, um, Acura, and, and the Mazdas just coming in. Porsche, you know, they've already established themselves in this class. They're the top dogs right now, and Acura's coming in. We're not underestimating what Acura is bringing on board to the series. They're definitely going to come here to try and win races. We've got a lot of uh, very, very fast drivers coming from the open wheel categories. Well, Porsche is a great foe. I mean, the other part of the Porsche program that that is interesting to us as a team is Penske. So they're a big foe of ours in the IRL, so you know now they're going to be a big foe of ours there. And I think it just makes it an interesting thing for us, you know, a nice competitive thing that, you know, oh, we've been competing for 20-some years, my whole career, and he's taken so many races and championships away from me, including probably four Indy 500. It's been frustrating for me, but if there's one regret in my career, I think, is that I've never been able to drive for Roger. We know we can run with those guys over here, so we feel, why can't we run with them over there? If we can beat them, we're going to be beating everybody. And, uh, you know, that's our goal. Certainly, we respect both Porsche and Roger Penske's organization to the utmost degree and, and think that they are going to be a, a major challenge for us this year. But they're beatable. Everybody out there is beatable on any given day. And I see them as our ultimate gauge of our performance. Sure, we'd love to beat them. I would say our objective is more about learning than beating them or anyone else on the racetrack. The Porsches and the Acuras hit the track together for the first time at the open test at Sebring. I know the first day we were kind of scratching our heads because the Porsche was, was quite a bit out there in front of us, about four seconds, three to four seconds in front of the group. Over the course of the test, we've seen Acura creep up, and, uh, and there's no reason to think either of us are going to let our guard down. By the end of the third day, we were knocking at their door. Oh, I think it's going to be extremely tight between the Dyson entry, the Penske entry on the Porsche side, the three Acura deal. There's a lot of rivalry, a lot of intense competition, and it's just great. I can feel a change a coming, start a new change, change, a change will do you good. Michelob Light, crafted with noble European aroma hops. For a full-flavored light beer, as distinctive as the bottle itself. Michelob Light, distinct by design. If you want to make your hard-earned dollar go a whole lot farther, get ready. Advance Auto Parts has the low prices guaranteed to save you money. Get ready to get the best price possible on all the parts and accessories you need with our ready-to-go low price guarantee. Nobody can beat our prices on just about anything for your car. So when you want to get more for your money while getting more out of your car, get to Advance Auto Parts for our everyday ready-to-go low price guarantee. Ready and advance. Every day, Progressive does... Carrie. Way to nail that conference call. <laughs> yeah. Stevie. Looking sharp. You've got a big vision for your business. <laughs> Janet. <laughs> Looks great in here. Why, yes. It is a new tie. And the Charter Business Bundle can help you get there. With internet and video in one package, you can get what you need to make your business as big as you want to be. Who wants to get the boss a cup of coffee? Hello? Name you know, Texaco Service Center has changed to Prince Service Center. But as always, you'll still find the best automotive care right here in Opelika. From tune-ups to engine replacements, fleet vehicle maintenance and repair, and even small and large towing and recovery, our list of services ensures any vehicle you may own is always road ready. When you need automotive service, there's only one name to remember. Prince Service Center. Our family. Serving yours since 1969. With just eight weeks left until the race, the three teams again arrive at Sebring to test their cars against some of the best teams in the world. 
the Acura program will reveal its progress publicly for the first time. In an effort to rebound from the problems it faced during the first Sebring test, Highcroft Racing is anxious to be the first team on the track. But this is Sebring, and quickly changing weather conditions added a new twist to the proceedings. It's uh, January 22nd, we're here at Sebring, Florida. We were first out this morning, which was a minor accomplishment. We've been trying to uh, make sure that the car runs well. To be first out was something that we were aiming for this morning, and we're, we're pleased that we were able to achieve that. If it dries out, they're going to go up. Oh, yeah, we'll just do what we can. Maybe we. <laughs> One, two, three. Give us up. It felt pretty good, I must say. The car is very good in the wet. It's very stable. Um, I remember at uh, Homestead, it was it was really quick in the wet. Very, I mean, just felt like you're on drives. But here it's a bit different because um, in the last turn and down the pit straight in turn one, uh, there's a lot of puddles. So you're always a little bit slippery as well. So you always have to be a bit careful there. But once you get onto the other part of the circuit, um, it felt pretty good. We've still got to establish the driver lineup, and uh, one of the challenges is to see if we can uh, get into driver seat changes with the three different size drivers. Which is why I'm here to see if I fit, so uh, literally fit in the car. It's going to be tough to see how we're going to get my seat insert in and out and how I'm going to get in and out of the car. We're going to have to decide if we're going to take the steering wheel off. We're going to have to cut my seat away even more if we don't take the headrest out, which I highly doubt we're going to have time to do that. There's a lot of things left to be worked out to see how, how I'm going to be able to get in and out of this car quickly. Can you make an adjustment on the, on the crotch strap? I can do an adjust. I can do an adjustment on the crotch belt, but I don't think you're going to have time to do that. I think you're trying to change too quickly to do an adjustment on that, right? Yeah. Providing the test goes well and that we feel like we can do driver changes with Danica and, and Brian and Dario together, then Danica is likely to race Sebring. Regarding Danica Patrick's seating position, a lingering concern, Andretti Green leaves the second Sebring test with its driver lineup still not finalized. Coming off the spin at the first Sebring test, Fernandez Racing is eager to get back on track. Both car and drivers performed as planned, and soon Fernandez and Diaz were turning in times that rivaled the fastest Porsches. There's some updates on the car that are coming, so we should be in good shape. We made some changes through overnight last night. Uh, it feels that the car is, is responding very well. We're pretty happy, I think. We can keep working like this and be, be, be racing for, for, for the first place. For Andretti Green Racing's Brian Herta, the key to Sebring is putting in hours and hours of practice laps. The very first time I ever drove an Indy car was at this track. Uh, and that was some 15 years ago almost. 
Epic ride. Off to Willow Springs we go. Destination California. It's insane. For the ultimate street bike adventure. I had to see the sun go down. Epic ride, Willow Springs, Tuesday, 9.30 Eastern, on speed. The Nextel All-Star Challenge is only on speed. performance TL Type S. Acura. Advance. Every so often, something comes along that breaks the rules, defies convention, and challenges the status quo. The time has come. Victory. Bold. Modern. Custom. The American Motorcycle Redefined. Victory. The new American motorcycle. Take the Victory Challenge. Test ride a Victory at one of over 350 dealers. Get a limited edition t-shirt. Because Geico sounds like gecko. That's it. That's the only reason I'm here. The fact is, if Geico sounded like some other animal, like, I don't know, a puma, sure enough, there'd be some adorable little cat sitting here talking about Geico's low rates. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. You can't even imagine the pressure. I mean, I've literally got like two seconds to capture your attention while simultaneously informing you that you could save hundreds on car insurance by switching to GEICO. Quite frankly, I don't think it's even possible. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. After 10 and a half months of testing, Acura faces one last major hurdle. A 12-hour simulation race at Sebring, complete with pit stops and officiated by IMSA personnel. But as they head to the starting line, there have been some major changes, especially with the chassis. This is uh, very exciting for us because it's the, the first running of the new Acura ARX 01A, a uh, very significant day for uh, the whole program. And there have been changes in the driver lineup too. We're intending having Danica Patrick race the 12 hours of Sebring and 
could end up becoming a bit of a safety issue for us in the driver fit in the race car. Danica, as we know, a little shorter than the other two drivers in Brian and Dario. There's certain rules and regulations about padding and safety issues which you just don't want to push. In the end, Danica Patrick is out, and Andretti Green veteran Tony Kanaan is chosen as the team's third driver for Sebring. Well, Dario definitely told me to, to go have fun when he's trapped me in and uh, just uh, told me to do what I know what to do. After six hours of racing with no major problems, all of the teams are feeling very positive, including AGR's backup driver, Marino Franchitti, who can't wait to get behind the wheel. Yeah, I'm running, uh, I'm running the, I'm running the Acura LMP2 tomorrow. So I wasn't involved in the test today and they asked me to drive the Acura TL Type S for the safety car and it's a player. <laughs> But daytime driving is one thing. Night racing is a whole different world. It gets dark and there's no light, so the less you see, the faster you go. <laughs> Each new punishing lap adds to the stress on the Acura prototypes. And this is a very different form of racing because it, it, it captures the durability, the longer term uh, aspects of this race. It's tough on the people, it's tough on the machines, and that's a real challenge. And uh, we, we, we like that challenge. For Highcroft Racing, the wear and tear is taking its toll. Uh, they had some shifting difficulties which kind of sorted themselves out in the first 10, 15 laps. And uh, they were running strong until the gearbox started to overheat. And what ultimately put them out at the end of the day was uh, an alternator failure. But even the darkest cloud can have a silver lining. And for the Highcroft team, the brand new Acura chassis surpasses even their highest expectations. The new aerodynamic package is phenomenal. I've been in a lot of cars around here and, and never gone that fast return one. It's almost, it's just a breathe and a downshift, but no brake. And uh, to do that in, in turn one at 165 miles an hour or whatever it is, is pretty exciting. For the Fernandez team, working with a proven Lola chassis let them devote their time to engine refinements. And in the end, that paid dividends on the track. Well, Fernandez, the winning team, ran flawlessly. Basically, didn't miss a beat. Thank you. <laughs> Still Good in one Congratulations. 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 A great accomplishment for everybody at Fernandez Racing. But while Fernandez Racing was smelling the roses, after 10 hours, the Andretti Green team was smelling smoke. I felt something was wrong with the car on the last lap when I came in and uh, obviously when I got into the back straightaway I saw a big flame in the back of the car basically we were on fire so I came in shut the engine off because I didn't want to burn the car to the ground so uh, we don't know what happened it's a shame because I think we're pretty fast we had a pretty good pace and uh, you know it's good that things are happening now so it won't happen in a couple weeks what ended their day today was uh, a fire uh, which resulted from we believe uh, unfortunate coincidence of having an oil leak and an electrical short at the same time. Where the oil is coming from, uh, the team wasn't quite sure, but they believe it's related to a failure in the gearbox housing area. The fire took Andretti Green out of the simulated race. But from Acura's perspective, it's all part of an important learning curve. Oh, a complete success. Even though it was full of all kinds of issues. Um, we really couldn't have had a bad result. I would say the experience was invaluable to everyone involved, you know, for, for Acura, for HPD, for the teams, for the drivers, everybody involved learned something today that they can carry to the race in three and a half weeks. For any manufacturer, the road to Sebring is long, grueling, and full of enormous challenges. But by fielding three different teams, Acura has been able to divide those challenges and conquer them. With the racing experience of their seasoned drivers, the brand new Acura chassis, and their ongoing engine refinements, Acura hopes that when the checkered flag comes down at Sebring, it may mean an historic victory. Coming, next race, we're coming to win the race. I mean, that's, that's, that's how the, the team Lowe's Acura team is gonna show for next race. We're gonna come to win. Can they do it? Come March 17th, Acura and the rest of the world will see if their divide and conquer strategy paid off and if this automotive David can take down Porsche's Goliath. So we have to do it in three weeks again now.
for the real one. <laughs>